Hello, thanks for tuning in to today's House to House. Uh, this is the perfect place, I think, today to do today's ho House to House. This is the Moral Values Program, uh, which consists of these two houses, which is perfect because it's house to house. Uh, the original idea for this ministry in the uh, Fruit Ridge, Franklin area here in this neighborhood was a family named the, the Frank and Monica Victorio. Now her, uh, their daughter, Moni, is the director. Uh, but it began years ago when when people needed a, a safe place to, to go. And it was, they were just living in this house and people in, in the neighborhood just needed a place to hide out uh, when, when there was trouble at home or a lack of food or lack of support there. Uh, today's Psalm, Psalm 32, verse 7 says, you are a hiding place for me. Uh, you preserve me from trouble uh, and you surround me with cries of deliverance. And I really see uh, in the history of this house a place where uh, where people found this as a hiding place, where they could be preserved from trouble. And and the cries you hear in this place are happy cries, uh, cries of of safety and learning and growth. They have a school for younger elementary students, uh, an after school program for junior high school, and and a, a feeding program. Uh, eventually, the, the ministry grew from kids sleeping in in spare bedrooms and and living rooms of this house. To, uh, to being able to purchase the next door house here, which became the, the learning center. Now we have a learning center starting at our, our church today too. So this is, this is a great day to, to promote this because um, we're really thinking of how can we support our students who at a time right now that are really struggling. But you'll notice on uh, the top five and, and again on the email that, that is included with this house to house, uh, that there's a list of needs that MVP needs to continue their feeding ministry, continue their, their school ministry uh, in, a, in a great way. So take a look at that. You also find a table at church and Link Hall that you can put items that we collect. At the end of the month, we'll bring those over and, and be able to support them in this way. Um, so this is House to House. I'll take it, take on a little video tour. This, I love this palm tree. Uh, serves as sort of a beacon on the street. When you turn the corner, you see that palm tree and you know uh, that that's the hiding place. That's the house of deliverance, I would say, um, where where so much, so many great things happen. Here they have a, a tent. We got a chance to do a service project and work on some of the, the tarping around it uh, to make it drier. Uh, but they use this to box up the food that they do three times a week. Uh, people from the neighborhood can come that, that need uh, that support and, and, and pick up a, a a box of food that's uh, that will help for the next several days. You see our, our old foosball table here too um, that we donated from from our youth room that we were no longer using. Uh, so uh, definitely a partner ministry. Uh, definitely we've we've learned a lot from the way they do ministry and 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 hopefully we've been able to share some of our our, our resources and hope with them as well. This is a peek inside of the. The classroom that they use uh, during the day, teacher's desk there, and then in the back they have a couple other side rooms that they can use as well to uh, be able to teach and create space for, for breakout rooms and so on. Uh, really preparing students to be able to move into a high school, even to um, have a head start in their learning. In the back here, they have, uh, they acquired this extra property be able to have a swimming pool and this sport court uh, that gets used quite a bit. All right, Moni, this is Moni uh, yes. Victorio, uh, daughter of Frank and Monica, who I mentioned earlier, uh, who started this ministry, and her heart continues to to go and to, to bring life to this place. It's been a challenge, of course, in this time, so I'd love to for her to just share a little bit of what's going on with uh, the Moral Values Program and what, what that is right now. So here is Moni. Hello, hello. Um, so with everything that has happened with the whole pandemic, um, you know, just like everybody else, we had to pivot, we had to adjust. Um, we, we still have our school. So we have um, grades six through eighth grades right now. We have a teacher. We're looking for a teacher's aide currently um, to kind of help with the classroom um, because she's really the only one that's here. I'm here myself um, as well, but as far as like in the classroom, helping the kids, getting everything done like that. We're always looking for someone to fill that position. Uh, also, some of our donors from the past, um, they have just pretty much not, how do you say, retired? I guess you could say retired. Um, 
and they so we are looking for some paper towels um Clorox wipes, things like that. We weren't able to have our big annual fundraiser th last year as well. So that really took a hit. Um, we're just adjusting, like I said, trying to get everything together, uh, making sure the families that are here are being taken care of, whether that be outsourcing, resourcing, helping other families, or uh, making sure the kids here are eating right and everything like that. So just trying to get it together. Awesome. Thank you so much, Moni. And as I mentioned before, we're, we're so thankful to be partners with them. We've learned a lot from them about how to do ministry. Uh, and we will uh, kind of close the video here with a prayer for, for their ministry. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. The last thing is they've, they've uh, built a little space of prayer and meditation in the back. Um, so I'll end with this spot and just an opportunity to pray for our Learning Center at Faith and for MVP. So join with me. God, we thank you for uh, the ways that ministries are, are a light in their community, a hiding place in, uh, in a place where there may be trouble for many. Uh, pray that our church, pray that MVP can continue to be that light and, and, and offer these cries of deliverance um, and uh, happy sounds of, of peace and joy in the midst of, of a troubling world. Uh, we bless this, this place and we, we thank you for, for all that we've learned about how to do ministry in a sacrificial way, in a compassionate way. Uh, we ask that your hand would lead them. Thanks for joining us. Uh, take part in this in this ministry and in, in uh, bringing some of the supplies that they need if you're able. And uh, and we'll we'll give you an update at the end of the month. Thanks.